hi my love so i am back with another word um and this actually happened um a few days ago actually um i want to say maybe like three days ago um as i was meditating and just speaking with dad um and i was just typing out some stuff that he was saying um i hear him say don't forget me and I immediately said, I'm not going to forget you. I won't forget you, Dad. I won't forget you. I'm not going to forget you, Dad. And what he was saying to me was, um, when I bless you, when I give you what it is I promised you, don't forget me. And what he was saying um, was when he gives us these blessings and when he finally releases these promises to us, um, and not even saying because they, they were already released when he spoke them. But when when we really see them coming into their full manifestation, don't stop praying. Don't stop praising him. Don't stop spending your your alone, intimate time with him. Don't stop reading your, your Bible, meditating on his word. Don't stop fasting. Don't stop, you know, doing your ministry work. Don't stop doing the things that God has called you to do. Don't forget him. Don't don't put this promise before him and don't don't be so happy and so consumed with the physical aspect of these things that you forget to go in your prayer room you forget to thank him you forget to you know do the things that you were doing in your waiting period so and for a lot of us oh my goodness these blessings are about to be so big it's literally about to blow us away because it's not going to be it's, it's far beyond what we could have expected it to be. And I even got more confirmation um, regarding that earlier today. My brother, he has sent me something. He has sent me a word and I hadn't like spoken with him. And um, dad had been speaking to me through the number um, 11 and 111 and 1111. And it just so happened out of the blue, he sent me something and it says, wait until why you see God, why God made you wait so long. It's big. And he sent it at one eleven, And I just knew that it was, <laughs> I just knew that it was dad speaking to me yet again. So, um, I was like, wow, dad. So, and it kind of ties into when he was saying like, don't, don't forget me. And only, I feel like dad would only say that if, he know because he knows what he's was getting ready to happen. He sees it, and he knows that these blessings that he's you know um, releasing to us to have is so big. It can cause some people to get so consumed with the blessing that they forget him. So you guys, this is just a warning, and um, and it's also a prophetic word and encouragement. Um, God is saying, "Don't forget me." And you guys, this blessing, these blessings, I just been feeling it in my spirit. They're going to be so big. It's not going to be what you expect. It's going to exceed beyond your expectations, beyond what you thought. So he's he's always going. And the thing is that he's such a good father. He's such a faithful father. He loves to surprise his children and bring some joy, bring some happiness. So don't think that he's just going to give you exactly what it was you were asking for. No, he's going to go above and beyond because that's just how amazing he is. Hallelujah. All glory be to God. So don't forget him when it comes because it is on its way. Okay. Okay, loves. Um, And the scripture that I want you guys to definitely go back and read on your own and meditate um, is Deuteronomy 6, 10. And it says, when the Lord your God brings you into the land, he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give you a land with large flourishing cities you did not build, houses filled with all kinds of good things you did not provide, wells you did not dig, and vineyards and olive groves you did not plant. Then when you eat and are satisfied, be careful that you do not forget the Lord who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. And again, that's Deuteronomy 6, 10 through 12. So, um... Make sure you guys, make sure you guys, as always, test the spirits. Um, all the words that I am releasing may not be for everyone in this season. So 
it's very important that you guys pray and just ask God to reveal what season you are in and he will give you a confirmation or um, anytime that you hear a prophetic word and it resonates in your spirit and you know that that's even more so confirmation from the Lord. But as always, test the spirits and go back and read these scriptures and meditate on them because um, what he gives me revelation on, it, it may come come as a completely different revelation to you so we know that god is very strategic in the way that he speaks um to each of us individually so i love you guys until the next video stay safe um i'm praying for you all you all just please keep me in your prayers as well in jesus name i love you talk soon